What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? What made me to reach out to you today is because I saw you had did a um, posting on the YouTube about uh, a girl's video. And um, I just was, you know, <laughs> I'm just like, oh, my God. Okay, so look. Uh, wait. Um, who who are we? Ta who, who who are we talking about? Which which video? You talking about today? You talking about the video that posted right. today? Right. Okay. 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 So we're talking about YouTuber keeping it one hundred and her right and her. Uh, I guess disliking of the controversial company called Super Eagle. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Right. Oh, okay. So, so the thing is, is that, you know, I'll be in the background uh, just watching everything because I don't really put myself out there. You know, I've been driving, what, three years now? And I didn't have my share of, you know, experiences with these places. And I just be in the background just watching everybody, you know, seeing what's going on, right? Right, right. So, right now, currently... Um, I'm over here too. I've been over here about two months. I've been over at Super Ego like two months, right? Oh, okay. So well, wait, wait, uh, wait a minute now. Wait, a, wait a minute now. Hold, hold on. This we okay. So you, so you, you, you been with with Super Ego for two months, right? So let me ask you this: what What was the allure of the company? Like, like what made you decide to? you know, drive with Super Eagle? Well, because I had, you know, I always been, since I had been driving, being a company driver, right? So um, I think my last experience, I went local. I was with the uh, JB Hunt. And I just felt like, you know, the money wasn't really there. And I went to the, uh, apply for the, the, uh, to get a truck through the SFI and I was approved and everything, but you needed a down payment. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll just keep working, you know, to JD Hunt to try to get that down payment. Well, months went by, still no money to do the down payment. So I said, well, you know, the Super Eagle, like, come over here, you, ain't, you don't need no down payment. So get a truck. So I said, well, I'm going to just take my chance with that. And that's what I did. So that's what landed me to be over here okay 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 so mm -hmm. all right so you reached out uh you you probably have a probably have a some uh some opinions so the floor is yours what, what would you like to say well i just was like i mean due to what happened to her um i'm gonna say like three weeks ago i was over in a California myself. Hi, I'm doing fine. And um, I was over there myself. But see, you know, it's about like knowing what to do when you're over there. Uh, apparently, she expected for weekend dispatch to get her rolling. And mm. that's not the way it works. So apparently, she expected like the weekend dispatch to get her rolling, which that's not the way it works. Like the weekend dispatch, they don't dispatch you. You know, your actual dispatcher is who dispatch you. And most mostly they work from like seven in the morning to like 4 p.m. Illinois time. Right. Mm -hmm. So you got to get whatever you want to get done within those hours. Right. Right. And, um, so the fact that her arriving on a Saturday, that was like bad time mm. already. Mm. And uh, for the amount that the, that the lotion took was already bad already because, um, you know, it's going to cost like two grand just to get out there for fuel. So if you took a load for three grand going out there, you, you already losing. Like that's, I don't know. Maybe we're there with a misunderstanding. I'm, I know she's been driving a while, and I know she has experience, but uh, somewhere th that math wasn't math. Like, you know, I, I she shouldn't have even took that. 
I was thinking, uh, you know, because I, I, I'm not a lease driver. I'm not a lease driver. Don't have no intentions on being a lease driver. But I know a lot of, I, I know a lot of people, a lot of drivers that are. And from what I, the, the conversations that I have with them was that it would, it would have been a trade-off. Like the money that she, that she got going into California, which, which is always good per se, you know, so let's just say it was $3,000. All right. That was good. But it, the, it would have been, a, it's a trade-off on that. Because the lows that's coming out of California is always bad. It's just like Florida. It's just like Florida. Good coming in, bad coming out, you know, especially for owner op mm. or, le or lease op. Me, company driver, I, I normally drive from Florida all the way to Savannah, Georgia to pick up my next load. And that's about what three three hundred and some change but that's not good that's not good for a lease driver because they need to get they you know that that's going to be some serious deadhead that y'all not getting compensated for it but a lot of people were saying especially in the in the in the, in the comment session they were saying that she should have took those those fuel loads just at least just to get out of California. Do you do you agree with that? Uh, no. Okay. Go ahead. Why why you don't agree with with, with taking the now, So your question was uh she should have she should have took like uh something to dare head out so much miles just to get yeah just yeah That's just to question. get out because she was saying in her she was saying in her videos that the the lows that they were sending her was would just make for the fuel and she she would turn around and be driving for free but considering how much you made coming in there it would have been a trade-off just to get out of there Yes, that is okay. First, first, firstly, going in, if you're not getting at least four grand or higher, you don't even need to be going in. Mm. That's first. Now, second of all, uh, if you're in a situation where there's, you know, few lows, no low, or something like that, then yes, you will want to. Just go to somewhere where you feel like where where there would be uh, low. She was in Los Angeles, so it wouldn't have been like a good idea to drive all the way up to like Fresno or right. get up to like Bakersfield just to get something to come back the other way. So in her case, you know, um, if it was me, I would have just went to uh, somewhere along the end, parked at one of the truck stops. I would have drove to one of those truck stop along that 10 and um you know to be in a safe area which that would have been some deadhead right there and then got with um whoever my dispatch is uh that monday morning to get something leaving from where i was at right and if there wasn't something close by where i was at then at that point i would have took it much further to get somewhere else to get something right but the thing is it started her situation started off not good from the beginning just for the rate of what she got going in it, it started off bad now you with me yeah i'm still with you I, you, you got the floor i'm listening now as far as uh her being there for those days like that, I know that I was like, wow, you know, I've I've been watching too, and um, it's it's, it's unfortunate, you know, because like there's a lot of people that have their situations with you know what be going on and everything, but um, you know, I just think that um, it, the situation it just started off wrong, 
you know, I don't know where she was coming from going in there. But she didn't give out that information. But that three grand going in there, that that wasn't enough to because for the the fuel, like I, me myself, like three weeks ago, I was over there and I know I, I spent two grand and she was just trying to get from like Illinois to um to Fresno. So wherever she was coming from, you know, depending on where she was coming from, um, it, it's at least gonna run fifteen hundred or so to two grand just to get to whatever her destination was. Hmm. And is, um Is it true what she said? Um, because she said in another TikTok uh that she had to she had to bounce at least two states over. She she said in her in her TikTok that she was driving at least three hundred miles on E. Is it true what she said about about the fuel car that Super Eagle don't controversial company Super Eagle don't turn your fuel card on if you don't have a load? Well, yes, but what I will say is that it's not immediately shut off. Like when you, after you deliver your load, the card is not immediately shut off. Um, say like you deliver a load, because I've done it. Um, you deliver a load and um, say like you may be 10, 15, 20 miles away from somewhere, even if it's one of those mom and pop truck stops, you know, somewhere where you could just get some fuel the car will, will be working because I've done it myself. Um, actually, I just did it two days ago. Um, so depending on how, from what time to what time she delivered to what time she would have wanted, or even if she could try, maybe she didn't try. Maybe she could remember like, oh, the rule of thumb is if you're not under a load, the card is off. So maybe I won't even try it because that is the rule of thumb. Yes. Um, but I, myself, I've been in a situation to where low on fuel, you know, it's winter time. You got to keep the equipment going just to, you know, to have the heat going. And, um, so you're going to need that fuel, you know what I mean? So, uh, in my case, it was, it was already late and, uh, I was like, okay, I need to get a little bit of fuel just so I can sleep for the night because I'm all, I'm on eat. And, um, and my car still worked and I was under no load. So, you know, it just depends on, like, I actually tried it and it worked. But due to from whatever time, if she actually tried it or if she just remembered the rule of thumb, like, oh, I was told it won't work, so I won't try it. Right? So it could have went either way. But the thing is, is like, it is so unfortunate that, um, you know, what everyone is saying as far as, like, not making money and, you know, the whole thing, you know, mm-hmm. um, because, like, uh, take you know, take the whole concept, right? The mm-hmm. whole concept, like, when you, when you lease this, when you lease somebody else's equipment, right? Mm-hmm. You know, we all know we got to pay for this equipment, regardless right. if whatever, how much loads we took. No matter what we got they, going they on at still, home. They still get their money the every equipment. week. Yep. Right, right. So that's why it's very important that, you know, run this a certain way, which running it the way, running it this type of way, you will be tired. You will go above and beyond. You will be doing some real super trucking out here. Um, because of the way, you know, in order to make the money for you to try to have a, a have some take home with you, you know, um, to do your personal business. Got to be some type of, some type of way, some type of super trucker in order to really, truly rock out or take advantage of what the controversial company Super Eagle is all about. Let me ask you this though. She now you know I've been mm-hmm. I, I've been I've been rocking out with her for a long time. I I, I even know her personally. You know I we, have too. You know we mm-hmm. haven't we we haven't talked 
uh well we 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 conversated a little bit about maybe about two three weeks ago it wasn't nothing in depth Mm -hmm. or anything like that but do you think because of the mindset that she has uh because one of the comments that was in the comment session says that she still have a company driver mindset you, yes, you, in some of the comments that she made, yes, it was a company driver. Some of the if things she said was from a company driver standpoint, because when she said, uh, uh, you know, when you're dealing with these companies and then they leave you or they don't care nothing about you, mm-hmm. with you know, with that being said, over here, you are, in fact, responsible for yourself and what's going on. Mm. With all given time, you have to be proactive and make sure that you are in the good predicament at the end of the day. So that means you have to stay on top of your dispatcher. If that dispatcher ain't working out for whatever reason, that means you must change, get someone else who's going to really work for you, make, help you to make money. You know what I mean? Like, it has to work for you because... It's not given to you. They're not giving it to anybody. Any of us drivers, there is no favorite. Nobody knows nobody. You know, we all, nobody knows anybody. Nobody's looking out for anybody. So, um, and that's what, what I want, I'm, I'm picking up some uh, stuff, picking up my paperwork right quick. So it's kind of loud. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I hear it in the background, nobody, but you do it. Nobody looks out for anyone. You know, it's basically, you know, you have to be, uh, you have to have, no, like, they're not, you know, they're not holding your hand. They they mm-hmm. don't. It, it, you know, they, they don't. But what I will say is that I had a situation where it was a little concern show for me uh, when I first started. Um, there was a sensor on my equipment that needed to be uh, changed. And um, I was just going to wait in the truck at the Kenworth dealership while they do the service. But they were like, no, we don't feel comfortable with that. Uh, the company was like, no, we don't feel comfortable with that because we don't know, you know, the sexes, you know, and you're a woman. You know, we rather you just go for a room and so we know you're safe. So it basically they... Because I was like, no, I don't want to pay for nothing extra, you know, because I know I'm the one to pay for the expense. I'm like, I don't want to pay for nothing extra, you know, I don't want to go in no room. I'll just stay inside the church. they like, oh, no, we really, you know, we really don't want you to do that because, you know, it's just, we don't feel safe about that. So they kept picking point on, you know, me being a woman, and they are concerned of, like, anything could happen, me just being, sleeping in the yard of the place and, Nobody really knows what's going on there. So, um, for instance, I would say, you know, the people are not just like some downright bad people, but at the same time, they want their money. So what it is, in fact, they have. And we have to know, like, you got to be ready to pay for that. And you also have to run yourself and maneuver yourself in the way to where like you know for the her particular situation as you on your way going to california you need to be looking up some lows to see like what you can be getting trying to come back telling your dispatcher like hey i see this maybe can you get this for me or if there's issues with the dispatch that following next business day or whatever you should have been looking to change and get someone that will work for you to get you going back the other direction. You know what I mean? You have to be proactive because if not, that's the type of things that will happen to you, you know? And I just think that I know that that could have been handled a different way, but it was handled the way she chose to handle. Plus, you know, that she's a YouTuber and, you know, you know, people, you know, you guys do your guys, you know, do your thing with all of that. Um, and I don't know what people make for doing these videos and stuff like that, you know, because I'm not involved in that. But uh, I just know, like, 
you know, you she, she, she I mean, I don't, because I don't know her. You know, I've just been watching her over time. Throughout her trucking and her YouTube, you know, a lot of guys in the comments are saying, you know, she's more interested in being the social media type person than naturally being a truck driver because mm -hmm. of because of all the drop, mm -hmm. I mean, not because of all the all the all the trucking jobs she she bounced from. Another commenter says, "Why the hell you go over to Super Ego? You you know, uh, uh, what's what's going on with Super Ego? With all of the all all of the comments, all of the reviews, all of the videos, but yet you still went over to Super Ego, and I I was like, well, maybe she went over there just to see what was it like." I mean, you know, you're a grown woman. You want to go ahead and, you know, just get get your feet wet. But then we 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 all know what just happened. So, right. I I just think that uh, you know, not to throw shade at her, cause like like again, you know, us as women, we supposed to stick together with the truck and stuff. But I just feel, and I do know. From my own experience, because I was over there three weeks ago, and I've been, and I was with this company when I was over there, and the way I had to maneuver myself in order to get from over there, you know what I mean? So, um, her situation could have been handled differently. The thing, the thing is, is that you know, I, I've been I've been watching her for some years now. You know, she I don't. Like, I just watch people, you know what I mean? I don't interact with the people. I don't, nobody knows me. You know, like I said, I'm in the background, right? Nobody knows me. I don't comment. I don't be involved. But when I seen that this morning, and I'm like, I've talked to you, you know, a few couples of times, even when I first started trucking, and I even would ask you, like, where do you think would be a good place for me to go? And because I was kind of unsure, like, who to go to, who to drive with. I appreciate um, it. Thank you. And I think back, I, I, I you know, I told you like, oh, I'm gonna go to Noose Bomb, and oh, I, you told me like, oh, what about um, Arthur? And you know, you were you you was like they'll be nice for you. That's I think that was like a year or so ago, but I didn't even go with them. I just you know the thing is is like I you know with me being new in them times, I was reaching out trying to talk to someone who knew a little bit more than me, just to see like, oh, what could I do? You know, or what, you know, what was all going on or what could I do to get me some money? But I ended up finding my way. You know, I found my way and stuff. But as far as that lady, I just think that um, I'm not going to say trucking ain't for her. But, you know, it's kind of it's kind of like I would have expected a little bit more from what she you know as far as experience wise that she would have knew what to do you know what i mean in that situation you know you know you would have knew how to handle these folks knew how to you know say what you want get what you want done you know instead of let it spiral out of control to where you're parked somewhere and now you got even worse problem tickets and what have you you know what i mean like Ah, uh, you know, and then she blaming the company. Like, oh, baby, got me rolling. You know, I wouldn't have all this. But the thing is, is like, you know, if you know you in an area where, you know, it's it's sketchy or it's questionable where you can park, then you got to keep going. I know it's gonna cost money for fuel, but as an independent contractor, you should already know everything on you. So. Why are you not ready to take on your craft and, and handle your business? It, it was more or less like you. she was sitting back waiting for them to think for her. And why are you waiting for them to think for you? But I just feel like I know that could have been handled a completely different way, you know, and, um, and uh, definitely because, like, in my two months of being over here, like, I've been through three dispatchers. And because there's probably, like, 50 to 75 dispatchers for the superego. Not all of them are going to do what you need done. 
you know, you got to go through a couple of them before you probably land, you know, someone that's going to work good for you, you know. And I don't know whoever the person she has, but she said that, you know, how the dispatchers promise you, like, oh, I'm going to get you good, I'm going to make you some money and this, that, and the third. Well, uh, you you can't bank, bank yourself on or even trust in, like, oh, so-and-so is going to make me money. You have to, like, sometimes help them, you know, tell them, like, hey, I want to go such and such place. Hey, give me a log going to such and such place. You know, you have, it's, it's you, you know what I mean? It's not them to, to route you anywhere. Again, like, that's not how it would work. Again, that's the, the company driver mindset. Yeah, that's, right. that's, that's the company, company driver mindset because see a company, because see a company, you know, a company will always be like, well, here, take this load up here and then we'll do, you know, do me that favor and then I'll find you another load to bring you back or whatever the case. So, so right. you, so two months in, sounds like you, sounds like you winning over, over with Super Eagle. Uh, what's your. Well, I mean, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I I work a lot. I'm I'm working a lot more to to see something out at the end of it. Yeah, that's you what know, I was going to ask you. What, what me, was your you know? What, what's your what's your end game with uh with the controversial company Super Eagle? Well, uh, for me, like I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna front. It it's rough. I'm not even going to front. It's rough because what the rates are for the mile, it, it's rough, right? Especially me personally. Like, I got a personal life, my at-home life. I got my own bills. I got my own, you know, with my overhead. I do got a high overhead, you know. So it's, it's rough for me to make money for the truck, make money for my personal stuff, try to have a little money to myself. And, you know, you also, you out here, so you got to, you know, maintain yourself and eat and all this stuff and just all the stuff, you know. So, and with the fuel being the way it is, it's it's rough, right? But mm-hmm. um, I'm going to just say I've been doing it. I've been doing it. And, um, but so far, like, with all the stuff that I'm seeing, you know, what the people are doing and saying all the time, it makes me to feel like, damn, you know, do I want to just stay over here? Right. Is it, is it, did I make a good decision? Everybody tagging the company. You know what I mean? Everybody tagging the company. Like, do I want to stay over here doing this? But, <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, where else am I going to go to get some equipment that I got for no money down and be driving without no issue as far as my equipment? Like, ain't no where I can go. Nope, nobody's just giving it to you. So, you know, I'm just kind of like, well. Well, hey, I, I I appreciate you uh you 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 chiming in because you know I I I I want to I, I want to hear from you know I'm I I got you know of course I got a lot of you know a lot of drivers that you know got some hard opinions on uh the controversial company super ego but i i want to i, I, I want to hear somebody that's winning over there like who's winning because it's a lot of it's i mean it's a lot of drivers that's talking about not only you know they skimming off the top uh the elds and everything like that which i still say i i, I still say I, I still say as far as the ELD go, I I still say that I think, you know, they don't want that particular information out there, but people gonna throw it out there anyway. But but I I just honestly I I just honestly I just honestly wanna hear some from somebody that's that's winning over there. Like, you know. I if the race wasn't the way they are and if the fuel wasn't up, 
I do know, yes, you could be winning over here. And the reason why is because you will make more money for the load that you're hauling, right? Versus when you're a company driver, you only make a certain amount of cents or whatever per mile for the load that you haul, which would be two, 200 and something bucks or, or 300 bucks maybe for that day or that load or however. So the thing is, is just that, um, and the way it's set up, you know, you mentioned the ELD and everything. It's set up for a driver to do what they need to get done to, to get that money, right? But due to what the numbers are, due to everything like that, you know, it's kind of it's cut down. Um, but like I said, I myself, I want more money, but right now, Everything just ain't giving more. So you got to be smart. You got to play it smart. And I'm I'm going to lie. I've met drivers over here that, like, two of them, they couldn't even count, man. They couldn't even count. I asked one guy, I said, um, how much did you, it was your rate that you got for the load you got? He was like, huh? He was like, uh, I'm just going over here. One guy said, I'm going to Nevada. That little guy was taking a load to, like, Alabama or something. And I'm like, well, how much, you know, where did you get the load from? And how much miles is it? I don't know. So you got people coming over here that don't know what they need to know in order to do this. So that, too, will make a person not be successful if you can't count and if you don't know all the information you need to know in order to um, book the right load. If you're hauling a load for a dollar uh, thirty nine cent or a dollar seventy cent, by the time you buy fuel for that load, what you think you gonna have? And pay your twelve percent for dispatch. What you think you gonna have left? Nothing. But the thing is, nobody didn't tell you take that load. You took that load. So. That's that's what's happening. People are taking, they booking the wrong loads. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing, too. On top of the, the, the rates being the way they are. They don't know what they're doing. So it's like a double loss, a double fail. All the, oh, they did this, oh, they did that. I mean, honestly, like, I don't know, like, like, I checked around before coming over here. You know, I did some research about uh, where to go, to how to get a good lease. I talked to Bay and Bay people. They said they weren't having nothing right now as far as leasing at that time because uh, they were low on trucks. They didn't have any trucks in that time. And uh, so I'm like, okay. Um, but the lady was like, well, you could start out being a company driver, and then when things change, with the rates, then we can change you over. And I'm like, no, I wasn't looking to do that. So I didn't even take the opportunity with them. But uh, as far as the Swift people and the RTI and the uh, PFI down in Oklahoma, uh, the uh, who else? It, it was a few others that um, basically, like, there, as far as what I could get, what I could do, this was the better offer. So that's why I came. Now, money-wise, I don't, I ain't seen no video yet of people in other places and other leases that are actually getting it either or getting it the way, like, four or $5,000 take-home pay or $3,000 take-home pay. I ain't seen that. Ain't nobody putting that out there, you know. So if you're getting your fifteen hundred or your seventeen hundred or whatever after take home and you're leasing, like in this time, I mean, it looks like to me that's really all you can get. Which you can get that being a company driver. So it's just all about what you really want. Like I'm not saying like I'm winning. I, I'm not saying I'm winning, but what I will say is. I'm not on the internet complaining either. <laughs> there you right? go. Right. Right. All right. Well, 
Bad. I mean, this. I mean, great. I mean, I mean, this was an awesome conversation, man. The best conversations starts here, over here on the Recruiter Call Channel. So you know, I, I you know, I just think, um, you know, if a per, I mean, you can tell people like if they don't know what they're doing or if they don't really think they can handle like trying to do their own self contract and stuff, they don't need to come to over here. So yeah, you are you going say, to you lose. say you say you're leave going, you're you, definitely going to lose. You say leave controversial super ego alone if you if if you're not coming over there with uh with what the company mindset. Definitely don't bring it. Right. All right. Right. Well, that's what's up, man. I do appreciate you uh I do appreciate you uh chopping it up with me, man. You know. Thank you. Yeah, I just I just thought I would reach out to you today. Thank you for the for the for the shout out too for you know because that's what I do. I try to you know, I mean, I don't know everything. I know a little bit of I know a little bit about a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And you know, when people ask me because I get that question all the time. <laughs> You know, what's the best companies to go with and all like that? And I, I unfortunately can't answer it, but I can, you know, considering the fact that I got a lot of contacts, I can, you know, give you a couple of give you a couple of leads. So thank you very much right. for that. I appreciate that. Yeah, you know, because, yeah, but like right in this time. You know, I mean, it is what it is. Like, I think all of us, as you know, who who wants to earn more money, you know, and we want to do, we got good intentions, we want to get ahead. We're all looking for a way to do that, and you know, so we all got good intentions, but it's like it's a struggle for us to get what we want to get done, and you know, even me myself, you know, it's it's rough for me too, but. I just, I'm just making everything work. You know, I'm just being smart about my decisions, even with what I book, what I do, where I go, all of that. Like, everything is into play. Like, with how much time I go home, how long I stay at home, like, all of that. Like, you know, um, but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I may, you know, if I can, if I get ear of something that's different that I can, earn more on my settlement, then, you know, I might make some changes. I'm not saying, like, oh, I'm here to stay or here to do something or here to start, you know, talking to people, making recruits and stuff. Like, I'm not really into all of it. You know, I just drive, get my money, and, you know, live my life. So, but the thing is, is, like, I, I don't know. You know, I just...